shot and killed three people at two Jewish facilities in our area. Our community continues to honor those people and to try to learn from the past while also shaping our future, trying to move from hatred to kindness. KSHB 41 News reporter Elise Schoenig shows us what the last 10 years has created in our classrooms. Most students weren't old enough or born yet to remember what happened 10 years ago. But if you just sit in their seats, it's clear they're learning lessons that textbooks could never teach. Rainbow colors, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, pink, brown, brown, brown. If you give a child a marker, they'll color. Your coloring looks good. But these pictures are messages. They're coloring kindness. Mine says, give someone a compliment, and her says, hug a friend. This is one of many activities that are now a norm for classrooms in Kansas City. It's part of the curriculum that reflects the work of seven days. It is a really interesting thing to work for an organization that started from such a hateful act, but creates such a positive movement. Jill Anderson with Seven Days says their group gives schools scholarships, resources, and curriculum curriculums all in the name of kindness. We have to touch on that reason why when we're doing whatever we're doing. They want students to recognize hate and replace it with kindness. Ray Underwood was one of my fourth graders. Kala Pilate is now a Blue River Elementary School counselor. She taught Reed Underwood one of three people killed during that shooting 10 years ago. He was really big into music, so him and another student actually played um, the cello and the violin at my wedding. She's spent the last 10 years helping her students understand what happened. I think the beauty of what Seven Days has done is they've taken different words that have different meanings and you're able to attach, you know, the the age appropriate lessons to that. She's inspiring them to create change. The kids really can kind of take lead and come up with ideas, lessons, activities that they feel like empowered to, you know, share kindness. So her students color. Yeah, kindness cards. Compliment each other. Be the reason someone smiles today. And talk about kindness. Kindness means to me like showing like compassion, caring, like, like loving. So if you give these children a marker, they'll color your day just a little bit kinder. In Overland Park, Elise Schoenig, KSHB 41 News.